Well, new trouble for the commission overseeing Mississippi's prison system. Indeed, the state auditor uncovers what he calls wide-ranging misspending, totaling millions of dollars, including illegal comp time paybacks and fancy furnishings. Well, 12 News Alex Love is live at the auditor's office. Alex, what have you found out about all of this? So the audit focuses on previous MDOC leadership. The former commissioner, Felicia Hall's name, is all over this audit, where it, it, accu accusing her administration in 17 different findings of allegedly mismanaging funds and not properly training their staff to follow the state policies. One of the main ones is, is compliance with state law over comp time buyouts in state government. When you work beyond a 40-hour work week, you're, in, you're, you're entitled to take time off later and still get paid, but you can't get paid when your normal work hours are on are on top of this, uh, like uh, like like buying back the comp time, but the audit finds that Felicia Hall since 2015 requested authority to pay lump sum t comp time, even even though this uh, th this practice violates state law. The total came out to more than 10 million dollars. What happened here is the top agency leadership had the agency buy back their comp time. In other words, they got the taxpayers to pay them extra uh, when it's not allowed under the law. They did that for a variety of employees at MDOC, but unfortunately in this case, the biggest dollar amounts that got bought back went to top agency leadership, like the commissioner or a deputy commissioner. Other allegations in this audit include thousands of dollars in improper travel expenses, as well as fancy furniture going into MDOC offices like 20 massage chairs. We've reached out to MDOC for any comment or response on how they're trying to fix these issues. Right now, we're waiting to hear back. It's also important to note, State Auditor Shad White said, Burl, said current MDOC Commissioner Burl Kane came to his office asking for this audit to be done for the previous administration. And we'll dig further into what a lot of these allegations are coming up on 12 News at 5. Live in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.